sometimes the DNA sample is not so concentrated that we can use spectrophotometer to quantitate it. Agar DNA sample ki concentration 250 nanogram per milliliter se kam ho, is ki concentration hum spectrophotometer se determine nahi kar sakte. And for that purpose, we need to have an alternate. The alternative method is more sensitive, but it is more risky because in this method, we have to work with ethidium bromide. Ethidium bromide jo hai, that makes a complex with DNA so that the DNA starts giving fluorescence. As you can see in this slide, this is a chemical structure of ethidium bromide. Ethidium bromide is a dye which can intercalate in the double-stranded DNA. This is the double-stranded DNA. When we mix the ethidium bromide and double-stranded DNA, ethidium bromide is going to take its position in double-stranded DNA. The more is the double-stranded DNA, more ethidium bromide intercalate in this double-stranded DNA. And when we expose this sample to UV light, we see these kind of fluorescent bands. The thickness of band reveals the concentration of DNA present in it. So those samples which cannot be read by spectrophotometer, for those we can use this method to determine the concentration. For this purpose, we need a plastic sheet or plastic wrap that can be wrap over the trans eliminator and on this trans eliminator we will spot the samples from the DNA of unknown concentration then we make a series of standards of DNA the 2 microliter volume is sufficient enough and then to each spot we need to add the TE buffer that contains the ethidium bromide like if we can see here, this is our plastic wrap and this portion contains the unknown sample DNA. This portion contains the standards. Marking some spots here, this is the DNA. These are the known concentration spots. Now adding the ethidium bromide containing TE buffer and then mixing it with pipette. This mixing with the micro pipette will thoroughly mix the DNA sample and ethidium bromide and once this mixing is completed, switch on the UV trans eliminator. The glow or the fluorescence of these unknown samples can be compared with the fluorescence of any of these known standards. We know what is the concentration of this spot. If this spot is closely related to an unknown sample, then this unknown sample has a concentration we know in the standard. In this way, we can proceed further and we can determine the concentration of those DNA samples which have below 250 nanogram per milliliter concentration, which is otherwise not possible to determine through spectrophotometer.